Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun and we're going to have a Birch's battle. That's right, Alexius v. Leonidas. We're going to take him into story 28 and basically just have a bit of fun, see who crits the most or crits well, who gets through with a lot of health, who makes a meal of it, who absolutely breezes it, and just have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to show you the elite training and I have both of these heroes, and then we're going to take them in one at a time. Obviously, Alexis with a little team are going to bring in um, Leonardo da Vinci and Apollodorus, just boost their health and um, just make sure they can be healed up because... It's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. So I'm going to show you the elite training I have in the heroes. And um, just to let you know, these are gym buddies. Um, Alexis and uh, Leonidas, even though Leonidas has spent most of his time in the Caribbean, when he's back in Athens, they are gym buddies. They go to the same gym, Gymopolis, uh, just off of um, Colosseum Way. And they basically, yeah, they little gym buddies. Well, Alexis is the king of the gym. He absolutely loves the gym. Elite trained out of his mind. He absolutely gets in there, he's in the zone, loves leg day. Leg press is his favourite um, machine, loves to hit people with them Spartan kicks. But as you can see, he's been nicely ET'd, he just pots in a lot of effort. So if we go to Leodus, now Leodus is a complete opposite. He uh, is the absolute complete opposite. He hasn't done anything. He's that fella that goes to the gym that walks around with a towel around his shoulders just chatting to everybody, socialising, and then I'll have a sauna and then say, I've been to the gym today. So we're going to take these in. Obviously, the elite training isn't fair. This is literally just a bit of fun, but it's good to see the numbers and it's good to see how these heroes that are very, very, very similar interact and basically have similar abilities and how they actually get through uh, Story 28. So first of all, it's Alexius. He's chomping at the bit. He's screwing, he's like, oh, I'm meant to be doing the leg press today, it's leg day, and you're making me run this. So he just wants to get back down the gym and carry on leg day. So we're going to take him in and see how we go. Uh, we're going to do everything, as in, like, every, take out every enemy, uh, obviously attempt to do every trap, things like that. We're not going to free run past certain things, we're just going to absolutely go in and annihilate everybody as hard as we can. So as you can see, Alexius, uh, nice little health cre increase. So with his elite training, his health is at just over 4K. So 4K and 30. So that's not too bad. Uh, we will use the other Polydorus charge here just for a bit of fun. Um, so he's failed that straight away. But the beauty is we can... Um, let me just turn this down to a 2. We can stun him. Let's get the flame attacks up. Yeah, Alexis just cannot wait to kick somebody. He instantly just wants to go in and absolutely annihilate someone with a sparring kick. But there's a time and a place for it, and he knows it. So he stores up as much power as he possibly can in them legs before he starts kicking people. But this stun is amazing, and uh, I, this is probably one of my favourite abilities in the game. It really is. It's, it's just so phenomenal. It really is. It's just... The fact that you stun them and render them useless, like, I mean, that was an amazing attack there. 11k crit, flame damage on top of it, we just melted him in one hit. Absolutely phenomenal. And the only issue with these two heroes is we probably will lose initiative quite a lot for the pure, simple fact that um, they get out sped. Their weapon speed isn't the best. Uh, is there any point healing Alexis yet? I don't think so. Let's jump down here. Right, let's get this off. Don't crit. Right, that's fine. So now we're going to get this, get this. Hopefully this doesn't crit. That's fine. And now the moment Alexis has been waiting for, he gets to shoot them powerful legs out. Has leg day been worth it? Yes, it has. 19k crits across the board. Absolutely. He just loves leg day. Absolutely loves leg day. I've got to put his legendary weapon back on him so that I get an extra charge of this. But let's um, charge this so he... He gets a bit of healing over time. We'll save one of them for the last room. He'll probably come down here and fall flat on his face. Yep, he has. And then this bloke walks up at a very funny angle. Let's get all these off. Let's get this stun off. I mean, look at that stun. Oh, my God. Nice crit in Alexius. Well done. I mean, he is, a, he is still a decent hero. I still love Alexius. He can still do some work. He's just... Without the elite training, his crit isn't the best and stuff like that. But all in all, he uh, 
is phenomenal. I think he does need the elite training over Leodis. I think Leodis is going to absolutely breeze this even easier without any elite training. But that's just... Uh, he's just got certain abilities that are just a little bit better. Um, but Alexis is doing work. I mean, he's absolutely doing work. I only use the Spartan kick when there's more than one enemy in front of me. Can he do this? Come on, Alexis. You can do it. No, it doesn't matter. We'll get out Speddy because he's got a sword. Take a little slap. But, I mean, we're only taking, like, a 100 and odd damage a hit. Like, aren't we are very tanky. And we should kill him here. Yep, yeah, he's done. The flame attacks are beautiful. They're really, really good. So, right, let's go in here. This bloke, we should win initiative against this. He's quite a slow enemy. There you go. We've got him. Alexius has done him. Still being poisoned, but he just doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's in the zone. He just wants to get back to the gym. He just literally wants to get back to the gym and start working out. Right, so here we go. Right, so this is obviously a foregone conclusion. We'll use his crit ability, uh, Polydorus' crit ability here. We'll Herbal Remedy him so he heals over time. It is Herbal Remedy, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll team heal as well so he's at maximum health. And we'll also give him inspiration. He's actually got an ability anyway that stops him from dying in the last room. It's called like Second Wind or something like that. I don't think the two interact together. So if one props, the other one won't. But we should get through this. We should get through this. So Alexis is already just eyeing up them straight away. He's like, right, you are going to witness the full power of leg day. And he's obviously got a crit bonus on him. So if we just look at our little stats... Thanks to Apollodorus. Let's have a look at the stats. So we've got a 48% crit chance. Our attack is obviously increased as well. 100% accuracy thanks to Apollodorus as well. So we will never ever miss an attack. So let's get the parry up just in case. But we're going to Spartan kick these two. He's dead behind him. He's absolutely only turned up. Didn't get a hit off. He's dead. He's just stood there. All of a sudden his mate's gone flying into him. Obviously, make sure you always get the parry up before attacking because like, obviously by attacking that refreshes. So by the time they come out to stun, they can tend to hit you sometimes if you haven't killed them. Parry the block, uh, parry the attack and then reactivate the parry on the next turn as well. But no, look at that. The crit is just phenomenal. The fame attacks just absolutely monstrous. Absolutely annihilated him. Uh, I don't think we've been hit yet. Uh, we physically haven't been hit yet. We have now, but look at that. 58 damage. Nothing. Uh, and let's take on Big T. Right. Oh, we got initiative. We've stunned him, which is nice. And we get the parry up. Flame attack should hopefully do. Look, 2k crit. So we did 4k on that one attack. That one didn't do so much. But 84 damage. That's all we took. Look at that crit and a dodge. And another crit and a dodge. I mean, we've taken a whack there. We get the parry up. He should be in the bin by now. No, that's all right. We've had to parry one more and he's in the bin. See you later. Quite a good shame. We see some very big numbers from um, Alexis then. We see some 19k crits, nearly 20k crits. So he done absolutely phenomenally well. Um, I still do love this hero. He's carried me through so much of my account. He was my first level 50, first five-star legendary hero. Um... And with the elite training, he is a monster. And obviously, with the Apollodorus synergy as well, having 4k health is always nice. And obviously, the crit chance and everything just absolutely annihilates them. So we've dropped some, ro uh, dropped some rocks on Tornamator. We've got out of there. And we are done. So now we are going to switch over to Leodas. Uh, I will pause it and come back to you and see you in the next video, uh, not the next video, but then the Leodas showing. Right, we're back. We've got Leodas by our side. We're going into the mission. Obviously, same team. We're just going to see how he performs. Obviously, he's not got the elite training. This isn't a, a, like a full-on, evenly elite trained thing. It's just a bit of fun. It's just, why not try and have a little bit of fun with a game that brings out no content? Right, so Leodas is, uh, let's have a look at his health pool. Thanks to Apollodorus. 2-8, so he's, at least, he's 1,200 hit points shy of Alexis. But what he makes up for that, obviously, because I'm not elite trained in, I think he's going to absolutely annihilate in damage. Oh, look at that. Little tippy toes. That's going to the sauna, that is. That's just socialising, going to the sauna. He's, he's just light on his feet. He just knows how to get around. 
So we're going to get this ability off. Obviously, this is the one we're going to use because it attacks for 230% of his attack, but as this, I think, does 120. So that's a nice attack. And we've got him down. Not seen any big crit numbers off of him yet, but I'm not worried about that. When he crits, he's going to be an absolute monster. He's just a 9k crit right off the gate. We're not using his um, ability at present because there's just no need. Uh, we saved that for the last room. So, I mean, in all fairness, it does last for 20 ticks. So I might do this a little bit before the end, in all fairness. Because, yeah, it just lasts for so long. Uh, but that's the ability that he's got. And I think that's what makes him, I think, slightly better than um, Alexius. Look at that. 27k crit. And he's not even been elite trained. He's not even been elite trained. Like... This, this is the power of him, 21k crit. Uh, he's just a phenomenal hero. He, he really is. Unfortunately, for me, I, I want to stun, but I might as well just do this because I think I'm going to KO the pair of them. No. I mean, in all fairness, that wouldn't have played out any different because I would have killed him and he would have probably attacked me anyway. But like health-wise, because we didn't take trap damage... We're looking fairly healthy. He's not going to do that. Two five percent in a row would have been astro like astronomically, yeah, would have been amazing, but not. But look at the look at the crit damage. I mean, he is basically Alexis on steroids. Um, just a phenomenal hard hitting hero, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and he's only going to just get even stronger when we pop his ability. The parry again, just say, look at that damage. I mean, Alexis was, I think, doing 4k crits with a lot of elite training. He's been absolutely melting people with just that, with his standard ability. So, right, I think we'll be safe. I think we'll have less than 20 ticks now because he's taking people out so quickly. We might as well just prop this ability now for Sparta. Let's go in. Let's attack him. Let's get the stun off. I mean, his attack... Look at that, 10, 10k. I think that went from 7 to 10. Let's just have a look at his stats. Let's have a look at his stats. So if we go to his stats, look at that damage. His crit chance is 19% as well. Obviously, we'll boost that going into the final room with um, Apollodorus. Oh, took a bit of trap damage. No matter. No matter. We're nearly at the last room. And these, these aren't really going to know what hit them. Obviously, I always get the parry up and dead. I mean, I barely use his basic attack for the pure simple fact that they're dead before you get to use it. Uh, with the stun and the other ability. Uh, what's it called? Just off the top of my head. Not off the top. Brutal Rush. It that is just phenomenal. He's dead. Um, right, so we're going to heal him up. How many of these uh, for Sparta uh, have we got left? Uh, where is uh, for Sparta? Uh, da -da. Right, with 20 ticks. Is that like constantly, it's not counting the, the ticks down. I don't know whether that's bugged and it's just constantly working forever. But right, let's do this. Right, here we go. Let's heal him up because he's taking, still taking poison damage. He's got through it so quickly, he's still taking poison damage. Right, and there's his inspiration. So right, let's go in. Walk into this last room. Poor old Tornamator's not going to know what hit him. He's going to get absolutely thumped. So just let's have a look at his stats before we go in again. Crit chance now at 49%. Apollodorus is just broken. Look at the, that a percentage that goes up. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So, right, let's get the stun off. I mean, we could actually kill him out. Right, well, he's dead. It is fella behind, again, has just shown up for moral support. 31k he got crit for. 31k. And this was without any elite training. No elite training involved in this hero whatsoever he literally just goes chills as a as a sauna and he's like oh, i'm not going to the gym don't need to i'm going to chill in the caribbean and boom right he's done so now big t's time do we win initiative no we don't we took a hell of a whack but uh it doesn't matter it generally doesn't matter like we're doing 5k damage there and that's without a crit if we get a crit off with that ability i think this is going to be absolutely game over 14k crit Get in the bin. See you later. Now, obviously, Alexis survived with a hell of a lot more health. He's a lot tankier. But that's obviously with elite training and that. Leoda's just absolutely crit the life out of him. And now he's going to drop some rocks on his face. Poor old Big T. 
I think he spent most of it, my Assassin's Creed, this last year in Assassin's Creed on his back, because just absolutely annihilate him every time we come into this room, the majority of the time. And there you go, Leodas has done it. So as you can see, with the two heroes going through, Alexius was far more tanky, but has had a lot more elite training. Um, the numbers, the damage numbers from Leodas is just phenomenal. I generally think this is going to be the next. Him, and him, Jacob and Evie, I think, are going to be the three heroes that I concentrate most on elite training. Because uh, I think he can be an absolute monster. Absolute monster. I mean, you see them numbers and that's without any elite training. So anyway, that was a little bit of fun. I hope you made it to the end of the video. Drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Take care. Enjoy your day, assassins. Good night. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.